What's happening, guys? What's going on YouTube? Good morning, everybody. You guys have tuned in to another episode of Weird Products Daily. Weird Products is a daily series where we feature cool gadgets, weird products, unique items, and really just kind of strange things, hence the name Weird Products Daily. A lot of these products would be great for drop shipping. They're unique items. They're impulse buy type items and things people haven't seen before. A lot of these items are great in theory, poor in execution. Maybe something you private labelers could improve upon, find a manufacturer, improve and improve cat or copycat and resell a better version. Uh, or maybe you have a store that already falls into one of these niches and this is a product that you could add uh, to your product catalog. Either way, kind of the goal of this series is to get those creative juices flowing, get you thinking about different niches, different products you can sell, and different businesses you can start. Without further ado, today's product is the Gosh Fun Worker Tactics Mortar. Uh, this is pretty darn cool in my opinion. You know, as a kid, I used to love like... Uh, Airsoft wasn't really around when I was a kid, I don't think, or at least I didn't really know about it. Uh, but I used to love like Nerf guns and slingshots and having rock wars with friends and just kind of playing war, running around the woods. Uh, I remember when I was young, one of the things we had, we, we had these like, they were kind of crappy by today's standards, but they shot these little discs. And so we'd have these little wars in the house shooting these little discs at each other, these little plastic discs. Um, and obviously today, like Nerf guns have come along the way. We got Nerf sniper rifles and Nerf guns that like, really shoot the nerf things uh, far so you know playing war is really fun for kids these days anyhow this is a gosh fun worker tactics mortar and in just a second I'm gonna show you a video of this thing actually in action obviously you guys know what a mortar is you drop a mortar in it launches it uh, so this kind of adds a new element to kind of playing nerf war with your friends um, in theory this thing is awesome I, I still think you know obviously we can't have like you know gunpowder projectiles uh, for kids to play with. So obviously this thing works uh, spring-loaded. Uh, how it actually works, there, there's kind of a base to it, um, and there's a spring, and you snap the uh, the Nerf mortar into the spring, and then when you drop the uh, this spring feature with the Nerf mortar into this tube, uh, it presses a button on the bottom, and the Nerf mortar is shot, and this kind of base thing that actually launches it remains in the tube. Uh, so let's head over here. I think you guys are going to be a little bit maybe underwhelmed by how far this thing shoots. Uh, but if, if kids happen to be playing it in the house, it would be enough to like one of them hide behind the room, you know, hide behind the couch on one side of the room, the other one across the room, and you can kind of launch mortars at them. So it still could be fun. Uh, here is it in action. Maximum range. Let's give it a try. So it looks like it's shooting these things maybe 25, 30 feet at the most. And that's probably being generous. Well, all right then. Let's take a look at those ranges. Okay, so I think he's going to show us. Fifteen feet. Okay, so shot at about 15 feet. So not hugely impressive, but still pretty neat. Uh, let's go down here and take a look at the reviews. I'm just curious to see if like people who've bought these have been happy with them. Uh, let's see, does this take uh, the standard Nerf missiles? No, the mortars are unique. Um, powered, powered by the spring. Will this shoot live grenades? <laughs> okay, so love it. As an 11C, this is one of the coolest toys made for both men and kids. My son loves it and gets to play the role as an indirect infantryman. Uh, got screwed. If I could use a four-letter word to describe this piece of crap, I would. Uh, my son at 12 is a huge military bu buff. Uh, books, movies, and toys. This was on his wish list. I opened the box prepping for Christmas morning, and the first word out of his mouth that I got seriously ripped off. I paid $69 for a piece of plastic. Uh, hopefully my son will have fun no matter no matter what the E-Plays were with his buddies. Uh, I will be reporting this to Amazon and request they review this seller for possibly removing from selling on Amazon. Never had received anything from Amazon and didn't exist. I don't know that I try to get him removed. You weren't happy with the product. That's, that's life, man. Leave, leave a bad review. Uh, worth every penny. Let me tell you something. This is so much fun to fire. Uh, the distance is meh, but the feeling you get from launching a rocket is so much fun. And that's kind of the impression that I got, you know. A little bit unimpressive, but it's still kind of a neat gadget. Uh, I love this item, being in the military, and my job is mortars. It's a fun way to play around at our job. You know, I, I can see that being kind of like a, an office desk toy. You shoot it over the cubicle with the guy next to you. Uh, let's see if... That's all of them got screwed, so that one. Okay. 
Uh, so anyhow, you know, I, I thought that was a pretty unique gadget. You know, Nerf, Nerf stuff has come a long way since I was a kid. Uh, I, I love kind of playing with some of the Nerf. You know, whenever one of my, like, nephews or anything's birthday comes around, uh, I'll always get him Nerf stuff. And uh, one of my cousins actually won't let uh, my little cousin play with one of the Nerf things I got him because it shoots, like, so hard you can take someone's eye out with it. Uh, but thought this was pretty neat. Uh, let me know if any of you guys have this, what you think about it. Let me know what you think. Is this kind of cool or is this kind of eh? Uh, but, you know, nonetheless, I thought it was pretty neat. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button below. If you want to check out this item in more detail, it looks like they've even raised the price. The other guy said he got it for 69 and he felt ripped off. Now it's 93 uh, But I will link to this if any of you guys want to check it out in further detail. And I'll also link to uh, that YouTube video that we took a look to from Captain Xavier. Um, but, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another episode of Weird Products Daily.